The use of mulch in the landscape has increased rapidly for the past several years, and the reasons are many. It increases the beauty of that landscape, but it also conserves soil moisture, suppresses weed growth, and creates a barrier around your trees and shrubs, minimizing the impact from excessive foot traffic and damage from mower equipment. There are various mulches that can be used in the landscape. You have decorative rocks and stones that come in a wide variety of shapes, sizes, and textures. More recently, you have the addition of recycled rubber tires that also come in a shredded form, but also in cubed forms. A lot of folks like to use the organic material. This is material that breaks down over time. And some of this material can be readily available, such as leaf litter, cocoa shells, pine bark nuggets, or recycled waste wood. There is a saying that one person's garbage is another person's treasure, and this is so true with a Wayne Township landfill located in Clinton County. There is a lot of wood waste generated by industry, the building community, and even by homeowners in the form of logs and stumps and branches. This operation is trying to divert this material from being placed in the landfill to increase the lifespan of this operation. And they're taking this wood waste, transforming it into a mulch, that is being utilized by landscapers and homeowners. A grappling mechanism picks up the waste material and places it into the tub grinder. Located at the bottom of the tub grinder are rotating hammers, which tear and shred the material up into fine particles. At the very bottom of the grinder are several screens. As the material reaches a certain size, it falls through these screens onto a conveyor belt, which moves the material to create a new pile. This shredded material is now placed into a much larger pile where water is added for several months. In addition, it is turned over periodically, and this is to aid in the composting process. After the material has been composted, it is again returned to the tub grinder. At this point, a colorant may be added, such as red or brown. After this process, the mulch is available to the homeowners and to the landscaping community. It's important to recognize that most of the trees and shrubs that we utilize in our landscape today evolve from a forest setting, where the soil is typically covered with a moist layer of decomposing leaves, twigs, and shrubs. So what you're trying to do when you mulch is recreate that forest soil environment so that your trees and shrubs survive and thrive even in a sun-baked landscape. A copy of the program you've just seen can be purchased through Penn State Media Sales at mediasales.psu.edu or by calling 800-770-2111.